Hey everyone, this is Charles Smith here and I'm really excited today because today is the day that I finally get Verizon Fios and it's just not only Fios but it's Fios Quantum. So the speeds have been more than doubled over the last few years that Fios has been out. Actually Fios has been out over 10 years now in September. As of September it's been 10 years and I just couldn't be happier right now I'm about to receive speeds of between 50 to 75 megabits per second this is download and upload speeds so these will be symmetrical speeds this will be the same as uploading and downloading 75 up 75 down or I might just try out the 50 up 50 down but either way this is just really exciting because I've just been having cable for the longest and while cable's fine, it's just not satisfying me in the upload end. I mean, paying so much money for 150 megs or whatever and only getting like 20 up and 150 down. So Fios, I've just been waiting for Fios for, it's been almost seven years now. And it seems as though every person in my vicinity of Philadelphia and within a couple blocks or within surrounding suburbs could get Fios before I could. So I'm just really excited about it. I can't emphasize this enough because as you know I do a lot of video uploads to YouTube, uh, tutorials, uh, troubleshooting, self-help, animation and primarily I work with video events. So working with video events I primarily film weddings, receptions, anniversaries and graduations I need to have a fast connection and I need to have fast speeds especially in uploading because I'm sending a lot of things through the cloud through clients through Dropbox YouTube and I want to have it in the full original HD content file size so I just this is just perfect for me and I couldn't ask for anything else in the way of speed and I and I I know for a fact Fios is definitely where it's at it might cost a little bit more but I'm okay with that because you're getting what you pay for and I've noticed that about Verizon. Verizon can be pricey but you're getting good reliable service. It's fast. I have Verizon cell phone and everything is just gonna work the way it should work. I've tested out Fios with a couple friends in the last couple of years and I've seen how Verizon has really went from good to great and great to excellent and what I'm gonna show you today is just a short summarized video to sum up the whole installation process. The process, since I just wanted the internet, I barely watch any TV and I already have a cell phone as I mentioned so I didn't need the voice part. Uh, just to set up the internet it took about about two hours, give or take, probably an hour and fifty minutes, but the technician was really great and by the way he was aware that I was filming so everything's fine and I just was so excited I mean it's kind of unusual I know that most people would be so excited about just some kind of wire installation but I'm a unique type of person so those kind of things interest me I really like to get into technology no matter what it is what form so without further ado here's the video I hope you enjoy it okay so right now as the initial step uh, the Verizon technician is working on installing uh, a guy wire or also known as a guy rope which is simply a tension cable steel cable mostly used to add stability to a freestanding structure such as these utility poles to keep them up and to be able to support a lot of the heavy wiring this cable doesn't carry any data however this was needed to support the utility pole surprisingly this process took about two hours and a group of four men but it would be months until a Fios installation was finally underway on our block. Fast forward over a year and a half later, and this is what you have. Now at this point, the Verizon workers have already set up the fiber distribution hub, which is usually a tan or gray box that is placed on utility poles on the corner of different blocks. This box facilitates the Fios service to anyone who is interested in signing up for service. The process is very interesting to watch, however, it can be very noisy. 
However, I don't mind the sound really, because it means that I'm finally getting what I've been wanting for nearly a decade. There are two methods in which fiber optics can be deployed. This right here that you're seeing is the aerial fiber installation method. In most areas these days, sometimes the wiring is done underground. It really depends on the type of infrastructure setup one's location has that determines whether the Fios will be installed aerially or underground. It also depends on the legislation um, and franchising agreements as to how it will go. The entire Fios installation process on our block was not done in one day. It wasn't even done in just a month or two or three months for that matter. This process took about seven months and they did not do it consecutively. It was about every other month they came. But when they came, they worked from sun up to sundown, so they were really dedicated. What's also noteworthy is the fact that there wasn't the same Verizon technicians every day of this process. In fact, quite a few of them were female workers. They were young women doing this project. Way to break those gender-based workplace barriers, ladies. Great job. Fast forward three months, and now in September, I finally am getting bio service. Now the technician is determining the best spot to drill and feed the fiber optic cable into my home, straight to the ONT, which I will explain about later. The technician is pulling through some extra cabling and he's about to let it through um, via service drop, wire drop. Up close, here is what a fiber optic cable looks like. Pretty cool, isn't it? And now in the home is where the fun starts. Right now the technician is about to install the ONT, which is in this box. An ONT, which stands for Optical Network Terminal, is a media converter that is installed by Verizon either outside or inside of your premises. It converts fiber optic light signals into signals that your computer or other devices can read, such as copper, coaxial, or other electrical signals. Each ONT is capable of delivering multiple phone lines, internet data, and video. I've decided to have my ONT connect via Ethernet cable to um, a router on my computer. Okay, installation's complete. Let's do the speed test. Amazing. 83 megabits. 84. Now I've decided to go to the 75 over 75 megabit plan but I'm getting nine more megabits than advertised, 83.9. Now let's see the uploads. Whew, okay, 80, 83, 87, 80, 90, 91, 93, 92, 93. This is mind-blowing, 94.4. 48 megabits per second. I've never seen upload speeds like that. These upload speeds are even faster than the download. That's the first time I've ever seen that on any residential internet connection. And that's exactly what I'm looking for, for I upload much larger files than I download. Now, according to the speedtest.net graph, I'm actually above the national average. I have an A plus, a 96%, and globally, and what's remarkable I have about a 97%. Fiber optic internet is that so this is pretty good. Now this goes for download virtual. and upload speeds. It can go higher than compared this. to others. And what's amazing about fiber optic internet is that its bandwidth speeds are virtually limitless. So it can go way faster than this. If you have the money, you can go as fast as you want. Now let's see what cable does. Cable has a high bandwidth download, but Typically this does no good for me as I need more uploads and basically this is a shortfall of all cable providers at this time. Their uploads are always trailing, they leave much to be desired. This, this is just pathetic right here on the upload end. I can't work with this. 
it does no good when cable companies try to curry favor by tripling download speeds but leaving upload speeds as they are. And Verizon Fios is just what the United States needs because we are falling behind so much with infrastructure, especially with data systems, networking, and internet. I was thinking in other countries, in Asia, for example, you can get speeds double that of what we use for DSL and cable for a much cheaper price. And Verizon Fios is definitely a true contender. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed this video on the process of fiber optic installation on a block and also in my home. And I thank you for watching.